it shall be impossible i want you to declare lord give me a fresh start i receive this fresh start anointing fresh start anointing somebody after this a supernatural grace and power is coming upon you and it's going to give you some supernatural push force power to do something with divine speed grace is coming upon you whatever was limiting you resisting you opposing you obstructing you blocking you god is giving you some strength from heaven and you will find yourself in the spiritual realm overtaking is allowed overtaking overtaking a grace is coming upon you by the power of god the hand of god you will overtake all those who have gone ahead of, of this year within these few days why because a fresh start has been given now when we read mark chapter 9 verse 23 very very profound word of god very very profound mark chapter 9 verse 23 jesus said to him if you can believe this prophetic word of fresh start if you can if you can bring yourself to believe that it's never too late if you can believe that god is able to do the impossible if you can believe that god is the ultimate power and sovereign god who is able to if you can believe all things are possible to him who believes all things are possible to him who believes all things not some things all things your prayer request all things your marriage all things your finances all things your health all things your weight all things your son your daughter all things are possible to them who believe that's why i said i didn't come here for everybody but i came to speak into the spirit of a believer all things fresh start fresh start fresh start it's as though you have never attempted it before it is as though you've never even done it before because you are not considering the failures you are not considering the rejection you are not considering the disappointment you are not considering your weakness your inability your your deficiency and your incompetence you are not considering you are going to start it as though you've never done it before but this time your eyes is on jesus you are going to apply again you are going to make those phone calls you are going to try to do what you've never been able to do throughout the whole of this year because god is giving you what a fresh 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 start so you dare to start again you dare to do it again and this time you win this time you succeed because the rima has finally found you the rima the word of god has come to you with power fresh oh lord the lord has not left us to time and chances the lord has not given us up just because the year is coming to an end the lord has not given up on you just because you tried many times and failed it doesn't matter you what your dreams were it's achievable it's attainable yes you can do it it's never too late yes you can still apply and get that job and get that job offer and get that miracle and get that contract yes you can still get to find your husband yes god is able to do it yes fresh start a fresh start i pray that the lord is speaking to somebody and somebody will bring themselves into the place of faith and belief if you can believe if you can believe it's for a believer if you can only believe all things are possible all things you can lose that weight all things you can get that job all things your husband is going to be saved all things your son is going to make it all things you can win the court case all things you can overcome the problem all things you can defeat cancer you can defeat that COVID. you can defeat that health issue it doesn't matter yes the doctors could give you their medical report yes the lab mir the blood test may give you their facts 
But when you believe in God, by faith, your faith will defeat that sickness. Your faith will defeat cancer. Your faith will defeat unemployment. Your faith will defeat barrenness. Your faith in Jesus will defeat every demon, every witch harassing you. Your faith will defeat every delay. Your faith will defeat every obstacle that is becoming an obstruction to your miracle. Your faith will defeat every defeat and every denial and rejection and disappointment. Your faith, your faith can defeat the giant, your problems. If you can believe all things. If you can believe all things. If you can believe, you will receive a letter of acceptance. You applied for a school. You applied for a job. A letter of acceptance is coming. An email. A letter. A phone call is coming through. That you have been given that job offer. That promotion. That raise. Whatever it was. You are believing. Your husband is returning back home. If thou canst believe. If thou canst believe. If thou canst believe. All things are possible. Fresh start. Don't just come. Some of us have given up. Oh, okay. We are, we, we are, we are. This is the time. This is the last season. This is the last. I don't think I can do it. Uh, people have given up on their dreams. They've started thinking this. And this is the same spirit that keeps us postponing, deferring. And, and, and it has been working against us for years, 10 years. People have been always wishing. Oh, I, I wish I'll do it next month. Oh, I wish I'll do it next year. Oh, I wish I'll do it tomorrow. They are wishing and before they realize it's 10 years, it's 20 years, it's 5 years, it's 2 years, unaccomplished dreams and vision. God says, I'm giving you a fresh start. A new spirit is coming into you. God is infusing you with a new spirit that will not take no for an answer. That will not accept defeat. That will not say, I am giving up. A fresh start. A fresh oil. A fresh anointing. To fight until victory is attained. To fight until purpose is achieved. To fight until God's purpose and plan for your life becomes a reality until we exit we we don't give up in the name of jesus a fresh start that's the word for somebody that's the word and it's for that person who says the bible is saying to you jesus is saying to you the holy spirit is saying to you if you only believe that dream that breakthrough that prayer request it's still possible. God says it is still possible. God says that don't, don't, don't take it off the table. It's still put it on the table because God is working on it. Don't give up on getting married. Don't give up on getting pregnant. Don't give up. Oh, they say I'm sick. You see, do you know why many people die when they are diagnosed with sickness? Immediately they tell them some people give up because they, they don't have purpose anymore and they be... And that's when the sickness take over. But if you believe, you will overcome every negativity. I pray for you in the name that is above every name, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, of Nazareth. I now understand why when you read the Bible, they talk about Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. Because the Bible wants you to know that they said nothing can come out of Nazareth. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? So every time you read the Bible and they are mentioning the name of Jesus, they will say Jesus of Nazareth, reminding you and I that he is coming from a place nobody thought anything good could come out. He is coming from a place that was heavily despised. And God brought Christ from Nazareth and made him a showcase to the world. The Lord will showcase you before the end of this month, before the end of this week, before the end of today, before the end of this year, the Lord will give you a fresh start. 
as you hear this word, whatever you must do, do it. Don't procrastinate anymore. Do it. Don't say, oh, it, it, it's too late. It's never too late. By the time you make those phone calls, by the time you step out in faith and get busy with it, you realize that your blessing has been waiting for you. You are giving up, but the blessing is waiting for you. Even if the devil stole it, if the demons took it, God is going to force them to bring it back because the word of God has come. He says, I'm giving you a fresh start. So your blessing is waiting for you. Go, pursue it, take it. Go, pursue it, take it. No wonder God told us that he was going to cause us to recover, reclaim, and repossess. Tomorrow we'll pray about that because he's bringing back lost hopes, lost dreams, lost visions. People who have closed the chapter on their lives because they feel as though it's the end. It's never too late. If only you believe. If only you believe. All things are possible. If you have your olive oil with you. Your anointed oil with you. I want you to join me right now. Anoint your head or your forehead. Anoint your head or your forehead. Your head or your forehead. And we are going to pray a short prayer. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. By the raising of the anointing. Let the uncommon favor give me fresh start. Lord, fresh start. Fresh start. Fresh start. Fresh start. Fresh start. Fresh energy. Fresh vitality. Fresh enthusiasm. Fresh zeal. Fresh vision. Don't let me give up. Lord, I pray for fresh start. Fresh grace for fresh start. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray right now that by the reason of the uncommon favor anointing, by the reason of the uncommon favor anointing that is coming upon you, you are receiving a fresh start, a fresh start. Whatever used to be, look like it was dried. Whatever was dried up in your life, whatever was demonically dead in your life, God is bringing dead things back to life. God is bringing dead things back to life. Dry things are coming back alive in the name of Jesus. Broken pieces are coming together in the name of Jesus. Fresh start. I hear the sound of fresh start. God is giving you a new beginning, a fresh start. He makes all things new. He makes all things new. Yes, there's a new wind of change, a new wind of change, fresh start. A new wind of change is taking place at your department. At your department. Somebody at your department, there's been so much confusion, chaos, but the wind of Jehovah is bringing a new beginning. Some people are going to be replaced. Some people are going to be shifted. Some people are going to be removed. New, better people are going to be positioned. There's going to be a shifting, a shifting, a shifting in your workplace, in your workplace, in your department. Some people are going to be moved. Some people are going to be fired. Some people are going to relocate. Something is going to take place and there's going to be a shift. But at the end of the shiftings, there's going to be favor. You are going to be favored because God is giving you a new beginning, a fresh start, a fresh start. Things are going to supernaturally cause a shift in the spiritual climate and atmosphere at you, in your marriage. Suddenly, your husband who goes out and barely comes in. Your husband who barely eats your food. Your husband who barely sleeps with you. Your husband who barely talks to you. Your husband who is into many things outside of the will of God will now begin to now stay home, spend time with the kids, spend time with you. He'll be coming around and you'll be wondering what is happening. God says he's giving you a fresh start. A fresh start. A fresh start. Suddenly, suddenly, people that you were expecting for them to help you, but they didn't pay you no mind. And they gave you excuses why they couldn't help you. Suddenly, you will sense them coming around and offering to help be of help to you. Why? Why? Because God is giving you a fresh start. Somebody, God is giving you the strength and the grace to be able to lose that weight. You have been troubled about your weight. The doctors have given you concerns about your health because of your weight and 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 you you felt like there's nothing i can do but grace is being given a fresh start 
by the time you realize you are exercising, by the time you realize you are eating right, by the time you realize you are losing so much weight before the end of this year. Because God is giving somebody a fresh start. Oh, you've applied for jobs. And every time the same old, same old. But the fresh start of the Lord. Companies you were not expecting will be calling you. Companies you were not expecting will be calling you. Telling you that there's vacancy, there's opening. Are you still interested? Relationships that was drying up. Relationships that looks dead. God is reviving it because of a fresh start. Somebody financially, you've been dried. You've been dried. You've been dried. But I prophesy this week shall be the beginning of your financial recovery. The beginning of your financial recovery. Oh, money is coming through. God is restoring your finances. A fresh start. A fresh start. Somebody spiritually, a fresh start. You've been struggling to pray. You've been struggling to read your Bible. You've been struggling to walk by faith. But today, God has spoken to you about faith. And the spirit of grace is coming upon you. Your faith is being revived. Your prayer life is being revived. Your love for devotion of the word of God is being revived. You are getting back your strength, your energy, your vitality. By the grace and the mercies of Jehovah. Hey, a fresh start, a fresh start, a fresh start, a new beginning, a new beginning, a new beginning. God is doing a new thing. God is giving a new thing. Somebody's giving up on their dreams of starting their business. It has been, it has been roadblocks. It has been resistance. It has been everything that you wanted, you set yourself to do concerning that business. The devil came after you and stopped, tried to stop you, stifled that dream. But God is giving you a fresh start. Divine helpers are coming your way. Financial help is coming your way. God is going to connect you to destiny helpers. That will help to bring their dreams to pass. Somebody, your business has been going down. But God is resuscitating and reviving it. Because the word of God has come. Fresh start. Something new is being done in your son's life. Something new is being done in your daughter's life. Something new is happening in your very health. Something new is happening to your soul. Yes, you've been wounded. You've been hurt, deeply hurt by friends, loved ones, and ex. But God is a fresh start, a fresh beginning. Forget about what the person did to you. Forget about the lying and the slander and the smearing on you. God is giving you a, a, a fresh start. He's going to set a table before you in the very presence of those enemies who ridiculed you, who laughed at you, who made fun of you. Who were whispering and gossiping about you. A fresh start. God is setting a table before you in the very presence of these gossipers. In the name of Jesus. A fresh start. Receive that grace. Receive that anointing. Receive that anointing. Somebody, in the next 24 hours, a job offer is being opened to you. In the name of Jesus. A fresh start. Somebody, you are a single mother. And the father to your son or your daughter has not been helping you with taking care of that child. They have not been helping out financially. But God is giving you a fresh start. The Lord is placing the burden of the child on their father. They will begin to wire you money, give you money to support the child. You will never struggle taking care of that child again. Because God is giving you a fresh start. Somebody, the Lord has remembered you. The Lord has remembered you. There's a prayer request you place before the Lord and say, Oh Lord, this month, don't forget me. Don't pass me by. God says this man, that desire of your prayer request is being answered. It's being answered. For somebody, it is a financial problem, a financial issue. God is coming through. Somebody, it's a court case. God is coming through. Somebody, it's an exams. You've already taken it, but you are afraid of the outcome. You are afraid. Somebody to an interview, you went, you are afraid of the outcome. The fresh grace of fresh oil that is coming up on you is going to turn the situations around. You will get a positive feedback, a positive news. In the name, in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you and I fresh start. In Jesus' name. Strength, grace is being given for us to end well. And end strong in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 These are prophetic words God is releasing 
into the atmosphere. You claim it, you believe it, it works, miracles, signs, and wonders. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Join us, God willing, tomorrow. Tomorrow at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S., 4 a.m. for those of you in London, 5 a.m. for those of you in any part of Europe, 11 p.m. U.S., 4 a.m. London, 5 a.m. Europe, 2 p.m. Australia, 8 a.m. India. Um, today is uh, Tuesday. We fasted. If you have your communion as you partake of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, May the Lord grant you grace, uncommon favor, and receive this fresh start. Even in your health, those of you who are sick, fresh start. May the Lord begin to be your healer and your deliverer and your way maker in the name of Jesus. We thank God. We thank God. We bless him for his prophetic word. Somebody, whatever you got to do, don't be lazy. Step out do it for the door is open the heavens are open grace has been given for you to launch and possess your possession in jesus name amen during this season the book we are using is touch not my anointed touch not and my anointed learn about the anointing the uncommon favor and the grace of god that will open you into the blessings of god get your copy from our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com Touch not my anointed. Our scripture reading for tomorrow is Psalms 2. Our scripture reading for tomorrow is Psalms 2. Before you exit, click like, subscribe, and share. And, 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 join, and, and invite friends and family members to join us for prayers. Um, God is releasing some heavy duty words into our spirit to help us to finish well. Yesterday, the word was profound. He said to us, it shall be well. Today, he said, he's given us fresh start. We shouldn't look at the month. We shouldn't look at the time. We shouldn't look at what's going on around us. We should believe him to do the impossible in our lives. It's never too late. No matter how bad, no matter how late it, it looks on the earthly plane, in the supernatural plane, all things are possible to them that believe if you believe this prophetic word your dreams and your visions will be achievable attainable by the grace of god in jesus mighty name may the lord richly bless you protect you and favor you may you walk under the uncommon favor in jesus name for any information go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com for any donation any giving any sacrifices towards the word, towards the to support the ministry, you can do so through the website www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. Those of you who have been watching us on um, YouTube, be, be mindful of scammers. Scammers who leave messages. Whenever you leave message, they will leave a message asking for money. They are scammers. Don't fall into their traps. And also, let us be vigilant as the year comes to an end. Let us keep on covering ourselves and our family in the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the fresh start anointing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you.